Hey everybody, Joe here. So I saw um, several uh, requests and messages forwarded to me via uh, email and I saw several people asking about a update on the spider and I realized I had not done an update in quite a while and we've done a few things um, since the last update which was right after it had been painted. Um, so we drove it all throughout the summer, enjoyed it. It was trouble free. It was great. Um, it's now winter in Seattle and uh, now it's kind of just been turned into a, if I can get out and drive it on a dry day, um, I will, especially on the weekend, just go for, you know, a nice hour long drive, just something to get it out, warm up the engine, blow the dust off. So, uh, let's see. So throughout the end of summer and then in the last couple of weeks, we've done some things. Um, so I'll just go through them real quick. So first thing we did is back in the summertime, um, I refreshed all the wheels. So I took all the wheels off, repainted them and, uh, had them, you know, clear coated them, did all that here at home. Um, so I did a, you know, kind of a metallic silver paint and then, uh, and then clear coat them with a 2k, um, a 2k clear. So it was real heavy duty, should stand up the brake dust and all that good stuff. And then I swapped out the lugs from black lugs to chrome lugs. So not a big thing, but you know, it's, it's, it looks good. Um, let's see. So we did that. And then in the summertime as well, swapped out the seat belts to this more, uh, aviation classic automotive style chrome quick release. So swap those out. And interior wise, I refinished the steering wheel. So I removed the black paint uh, from the wheel and did a brushed uh, did a brushed look on the spokes and then refreshed the hub and replaced the emblem, which was sun faded with this nice gold one. So again, it gives it that classic 1960s uh, feel for the wheel. So did that. Um, I think that is about it interior wise. And then around back, just a little thing, swapped out the exhaust for a stinger pipe. Uh, got that from Centerline. Um, so it's just it just basically eliminates the rear, the rearmost muffler. So it's not tremendously louder than factory. Um, but it, it, it's noticeable, but not obscene and not annoying. It's just, you know, gives the car that little extra, um, just a little more grunt from the exhaust. Uh, engine wise, uh, I did a small ignition upgrade, nothing too crazy or major, um, replaced the coil, which is right there, replaced the coil with an MSD blaster two, replaced the wires with a set of MagnaCore. Uh, these are the, I'm trying to remember what model, the KV 85s, I believe, uh, KV 85, um, 8.5 millimeter magna core wires um, these are specifically cut and sized for the uh, series 3 spider so these are not i didn't have to custom make them which was nice i just contacted magna core directly via email and uh basically you just set up a paypal payment or credit card payment and they just ship them to you within a week so got them and then replaced the spark plugs with a iridium uh, an ngk iridium plug um, so just, a just a little bit more spark, a little bit bigger wire. Um, that's kind of helped with a little bit of a mid range flat spot that I was having. And, uh, it's definitely, um, it's definitely helped that I swapped out the air filter for a K and N filter. Um, again, um, just helping the engine breathe a little bit more and it definitely is noticeable now. Power wise, I can't say it's made any more power um, because the exhaust is still so restrictive with your catalytic converter, etc. And this is a um, stock factory manifold, but it definitely breathes better. You can hear it in the way it sounds when you rev the engine. It 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 breathes a little bit better, which is good. I can't really say it's making a lot more power. Who really cares? But it definitely revs a little bit more free. Uh, it sounds like it's. Um, it sounds like it's breathing through uh, a little bit bigger of a straw, we'll say. So that's good. And then just recently in the last few weeks, the other thing I did, and you can't really tell because it is in a garage and it's 27 degrees outside. So, But I 
put on a set of lowering springs. Now, the springs I selected, um, Vic, uh, Vic Alpha Parts or Vic Auto, um, they sell this particular spring set, and it's for all four corners, so I did fronts and rears. Uh, replaced a few bushings along the way that needed it. Um, but that particular setup lowered the car about three quarters of an inch overall. Um, it has that nice classic spider look where the back now has a very slight taper down. Um, so it's it's very classic looking in its stance. It's a little bit lower in the front, a little bit lower in the rear. Um, like I said, only about three quarters of an inch. So there's still plenty of uh, oil pan clearance. Um, but like I said, when it's parked and actually the photo I'll choose as the, the photo for this video will be a picture of the car outside in the sun. And you'll see it's got that nice sloping tail kind of reminds me of an old mahogany lake boat that you'd see cruise up and down uh, Lake Como in Italy. They have that sloping tail to them, which is just so pretty. So that has, um, kind of been achieved with the back of this car, which is very nice. Um, like I said, they're a couple hundred bucks. I think they're 180 bucks for the set of springs. It took me, I, I put the fronts on in a couple hours, one morning, and then the next day I did the rears and took a couple hours. So not too difficult, just a, a small, you know, a little bit of a process. And I'll get down here so you can see the, uh, the clearance to the pan. So there's the bottom of the pan there. And I've measured this. It's 5.25 inches from the ground to the pan. So that is considerably more ground clearance than the nose of the GTV6 when it's on the ground, which is just a few inches. It, the GTV6 is very low to the ground. And the, the roads I drive on and stuff like that I'm familiar with, I don't have any issues with hitting the pan on the ground. So I, I shouldn't have any issues with this as long as I'm conscious of where I am and not, you know, bombing into parking lots and going up curbs and things like that, which I don't really do anyway. But um, other than that, just a few other little things replaced, uh, replaced all my caps, got these newer chrome finish uh, oil caps, radiator cap, um, things like that. So just trying to dress it up a little bit. And the next things I will be doing uh, throughout the winter is I'm going to swap out the factory fan will go to an electric fan and then I'm going to do a stainless uh, a stainless ceramic coated header and exhaust system um, and that'll kind of wrap up a lot of really what I plan on doing with this car and then after that uh, just driving it uh, come next spring I'll maybe freshen up some of the interior a little bit I want to do something with the door cards um, I want to kind of revert back to a more classic look with those because these have got the same armrests that are in the GTV6. So you can tell it's it's 80s and I want to try to get a little bit more retro with the door cards. So that'll kind of be a, a long-term goal in the next year or so. But other than that, um, just been keeping it clean, you know. Um, like I said, this seat was restored. My wife did all the stitch work and stuff. Restored the leather as best I can because it has a nice patina to it. Looks it's original. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it it looks a heck of a lot better than when we got it. It just really uh, needed a little bit of love, and the whole car just needed that little bit of love, and it's it's gotten it, and it has rewarded for it. It's been a spectacular buy. It's been a beautiful little car to drive. Plenty of compliments. It's a lot of fun. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but that's not what its purpose is for. Its purpose is to uh, just make you smile. And it, it, it definitely has uh, smiles in spades to give. So that's it for the update. And I will follow up as soon as I've done a little bit more. Um, I just want to make a quick note because I just noticed this. So if you're interested in these wires, I, I love MagnaCore wires. I run MagnaCore wires on anything I've owned in the past. The Alpha, the GTV6 has got Magna Cores. I've had Land Rovers. I've run Magna Cores. I've always had good luck with them. I love them. Um, they do come with two uh, coil wires. So depending where your coil is mounted, I know on some cars it's mounted up here at the nose. Some it's mounted further back. And they do provide you with two different length coil wires. So wherever your coil is mounted, you'll have a wire supplied for that location, which is, again, it's very nice. And the other cool thing is the coil wire coming up front here, it's 90 degree, and uh, which is good because then you don't have any issues with this bumping or rubbing on the 
on the paint on your hood. So just a little side note. But other than that, you know, cars as is, I've cleaned it up a little bit more. Um, you know, I was gonna, I was actually going to powder coat the valve cover, but who, someone in this car's history, I'm going to guess a, a shop, put on something underneath the uh, valve cover, some kind of a sealant. And I thought I was going to break the valve cover getting it off. Now, it doesn't leak oil, but that valve cover is on there real well. So um, I, I just said, you know what, instead of breaking the valve cover, I'll just clean it very, very, very well. And then I just put a quick coat of some clear on it just to you know give it a little bit of a shine. So kind of made the best out of a potentially bad situation. So other than that, that is it. Uh, the car, I do not winterize my cars because if it is 30 degrees outside and dry, I will get the car out and drive it. Uh, of course, warm it up appropriately, uh, get the fluid circulating and, and all that good stuff. But um, if it's dry, I will drive on the weekend. I don't mind. I do not put the top up. I just bundle up, wear cl warm clothes and enjoy the wind. So that's it. I'm going to sign off now and go relax. It's um, day after Thanksgiving and I've got a beer inside uh, breathing. So if you have any comments, questions, shoot them on over. Thanks.